Hi, it's me again, Nancy from Erotic Living. And today I'm actually challenging myself to dive right into my fears. This morning I posted that one of my biggest fears is that I don't feel that I am articulate and effective communicator, teacher, and that this public speaking that I do now on uh, social media is really um, a challenge for me. Um, and as I said, I'm diving right into my fears. Now, I have to say that after I posted that, my body um, felt so elated, so freed. No more did I feel that anxiousness in my stomach. I didn't, my mind stopped doubting my ability, my, uh, you know, my, my thoughts of, oh my God, what's everyone going to think of? My judgment just, you know, just calm down. And, you know, despite not being totally, you know, I would not be on a podium at this moment, uh, you know, um, doing uh, public speaking. However, I'm starting to build a sense of confidence in my enoughness. Now, the body, the mind, the emotional um, payoff has been enormous. So, in my experience, it means that dive right into your fear, do an action, um, you know, that would accompany it. And, and many of us have read, you know, feel the fear and do it anyway. It truly does support your growth and it is the most liberating thing um, that, uh, that we can do for ourselves. It's a gift that we give to ourselves. Now, as I expressed also, I'm gonna now go a little bit more deeper that it's not really the fear of public speaking as such. What is all behind that? What, what does that actually signify? And as I was uh, speaking to a girlfriend of mine, one of my tribe ladies, um, and you'll find her details on my website, Tara, she said that it's about not, not it's about feeling blocked from speaking from a heart wisdom, my feminine heart wisdom, to speak, speak with fluency and with flow and shamelessly. Now, I was born in 1957 and in, in, a, in a time where women or children never really practice um, free speech. Uh, we never really were given the forum or the platform or the space to practice, you know, what we wanted to say. Now, and when I say what we wanted to say, it's about an expression of what you actually desire. It's, it's not that I, oh my God, I'm hungry and I want to eat. It's more deeper than that. It really is feeling comfortable, feeling um, uh, able, um, being supported in the expression of your desires. Now, again, from a, you know, a migrant background, Italian uh, family, um, you know, culture, it's not, it's, it's, it was very restricted of what we were allowed to, to do. So whenever I wanted to express, um, you know, an experience or a social uh, adventure, um, I was always met with a no, you can't do that, or no, what would the people think, and no, it's too dangerous. So it's taken me a long time to actually not only know that I am entitled to um, pursue what I desire, but it's also taken me a long time to actually reconnect to what that is. Um, uh, often enough, fear is not necessarily something that you were born with. It's you are socialized into feeling a fear. Um, 
from your environment, from your culture, and sometimes even the very fear that you feel is not even yours. It's been projected onto you. And with my coaching, with my safe space that I would provide, with um, the probing questions, we can unravel that. Because um, do you really wish to live daily with this sense of oppression, with a sense of uh, anxiety, with a sense of, oh my God, uh, you know, I'm afraid to. And again, we're not talking about your physical safety. We're talking about liberating the fullness, your personal freedom to be your grandest version ever of who you are. So again, I invite you to um, partake in my offer, to be coached, to discover, to um, have insightfulness and to really claim a personal freedom um, that I truly believe um, is your right, human right.